welcome to another weekend in my life living in New York City. Right now I'm standing in front of some beautiful flowers. It's becoming springtime, closer and closer. It's cold right now. But uh, you know, it's April. Today in New York, there was actually an earthquake this morning, fun fact, at like 10.30, like right before 10.30 a.m. It was kind of crazy. We were all like texting each other like, was that an earthquake? And then go online, the whole internet's going crazy. It was an earthquake, which is kind of funny because the joke is sort of that like in California, they get the nice weather and like the beaches and you know, the whole east uh, west coast versus here on the east coast. It's like we have the cold, but we're supposed to have stable ground. <laughs> um, so it's like, that wasn't part of the deal. Anyways, um, the work day is almost over. It's Friday. I am just gonna finish up the rest of the emails that I have at a coffee shop. I just figured I would switch it up and get out of the house. to Jack's wife Frida which is is fine I feel like I'm sure you guys have heard a lot about it it um they kind of like expanded into a new place it's just like we just wanted like a casual thing in our neighborhood so we're gonna see if we can get seated there if not we'll just kind of walk around and see what we can find to take a workout class in a bit. I'm doing a heated Pilates class. So I've got my workout clothes on. It's about 9 a.m. right now, um, and the class is at 10.45, so I have a little bit of time. I uh, thought that I would unbox some packages with you. I have three different packages in front of me right now for more honeymoon clothing unboxing. The thing with the honeymoon shopping is that I'm trying to buy pieces that I would also wear not only for the specific reasons I have on my honeymoon but I can also see myself wearing them in my life here in New York. So these pieces I think are applicable to everyone. Alright so this first box bag is from Reformation and I actually ordered three pieces from Reformation However, the third piece is on pre-order, so it's not going to come for an another couple weeks or so. So I got two in the mail right now. One is this. <laughs> it looks like a very shiny, silky material. So I ordered this pair of silk pants for the airplane, actually. So I thought that this was a really cute look on Anthropology. not Anthropology. why am I saying? Anthropology is next on reformation.com 
I'll put the picture here. So I really think that it looks just like a chic, kind of sophisticated, luxury even, airplane, airport travel look. And it's comfortable too. So I got the pants and then I'm just waiting on the cardigan to come in. I will leave both linked down below, everything as always in the description box. But anyways, uh, yeah, these are the pants. They clearly need a steam, but they have a drawstring. They're very lightweight. They don't appear to be see-through, so that's good. And yeah, they seem pretty nice for a time like May, June, when we're going to be going. So hopefully you can see my head. I can't tell from here, but these are the silk pants. I put them on with a like sort of similar toned cardigan that I already own, just to kind of compare, and then the sneakers that I plan to wear with it, which are my Veja sable sneakers so that way I can just get a feel of like when it is styled similarly to how I would actually wear it do they feel like pajama pants or do they just feel like just some cool pants that <laughs> that a girl is wearing in an airport um yeah I actually I don't mind them I think when they are styled with the sneakers and with a cardigan this isn't the cardigan that I would wear with them but I, uh, I actually feel like they look kind of chic and like fashion, like cool fashion girl. Like she is, she thought more of what to wear than to just throw in a pair of leggings. Um, and I feel like for my honeymoon, I just want to be this like sophisticated girl. I'm so weird, you guys. Um, but yeah, I like them. There's a tag in here. And then the second piece that I got is a dress. It's black on the top, white on the bottom. It should be like a midi to maxi length. And I was thinking about this piece for dinner in Cape Town. It's also very sophisticated, nice looking. So it is like a black sleeveless turtleneck on the top. And then it comes down into this white skirt. It feels just kind of like a nice kind of soft cotton material. And as you can see, it's gathered at the waist. And I just think that something like this is a little bit like Meredith Blake, that kind of black and white sort of sophisticated look. This with like a red lip and a clutch bag would be so cute for a nice dinner. Okay, so I put this on and my mind just went immediately yes. I am obsessed with this. This is exactly what I was hoping that it would be like. This is just, this is so sophisticated Meredith Blake. It's also like one of the most comfortable things I've ever put on my body this whole top is so just like it fits well it feels good and it's it's just so comfy and then this there's no like you know hard kind of line at the waist it's just like a stretchy little band here and it comes out just perfectly into this skirt you could totally wear this during the day too it has pockets <laughs> which also is fun and I decided to style it with these black shoes that I own. I'm debating like, should I wear actually white shoes with this? They would need to be a white white like the skirt is. But these are the shoes that I'm wearing. These are from Zara. They are a sling back pump with a pointy toe and then a covered in the fabric little like buckle thing on the front and a block heel. So this would just, I would be so comfy and like good in this for dinner in Cape Town, but Oh my gosh, this is such a good find. Dinner in Cape Town, dinner in New York in the summer, spring, fall. It's really kind of seasonless, except for maybe not winter because the cotton white skirt is a little bit um, not as winter. But for any other season, this is just so nice. Moving on to anthropology. I, I am in need of a light jacket for this trip because... The trip is very different parts because there's the Maldives, which is obviously humid, hot climate temperature, and then Cape Town, which in the time of year that we're going, May and June, is going to be more like fall weather, might even need like a jacket sort of thing. And then the safari also is kind of also similar to that, especially with like the game drives and stuff where we would be up early and it's just cold so I do need a jacket for more of the South Africa portion of the trip I uh as far as like light 
cropped jackets go. I really just have a bright pink one, which wouldn't be appropriate for the safari because you're really, as I've read, not supposed to wear bright colors on safari because you obviously <laughs> attract the wrong kind of attention and, you know, obviously we don't want to be risking our lives out there in the wilderness with wild animals. So neutral tones are important. Colors that are just in nature, like beige blends in with a lot of the like, you know, bush, greens, things like that. So anyways, I can wear this in Cape Town, just like exploring wine country if I need to, things like that, but then also could wear it for the safari because I'm not packing a ton of jackets for this trip. I'm like, I just need one good light jacket. So, and if anyone, by the way, is watching this channel that happens to be watching from South Africa or from Cape Town, um, I would love to know from your perspective what is uh, what I should pack to wear for exploring Cape Town, wine country, like dinners, and then a safari just outside of Cape Town. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts for um, like mid to end of May slash very, very early June. So let me know. Um, but anyways, okay, so this is a quilted jacket. This is like a cream beige color and it has the silver buttons. Did I order this? Oh, I ordered this in a medium. So that is my usual size in tops. It's got these two pockets right here. So that's cute. Not like I would really put anything in them, but it's just a nice little feature and you can put your hands in it if you get, if it's a little windy and cold. I really like the quilted jacket look. I especially love them when they have a floral print on them, but it just wouldn't be appropriate for this trip. So I went with more of a solid tone neutral. Here is the anthropology jacket. So it feels pretty good on, it's quilted. I saw in some of the reviews that some of the girls were talking about how it was had like a weird smell coming out of the box, but it doesn't at all. So that's good. Uh, they must have fixed that, I guess. I'm not sure if it's just the way that I've styled it, like with these jeans specifically, since it actually is a lot more of like a yellowy like tone, like a very light yellow tone almost in person. I know on camera the the window is right here so it's a little bit more bright but say like for reference this is the reformation dress that i just tried on this is a, a white white and yeah you can tell and then these are more of like an off-white these mango pants and then this is clearly like a yellow and then even this shirt underneath maybe i just need to style it with a different pair of pants and a different top but my idea was to do it with this like linen long sleeve top these jeans just like for a day kind of exploring and then again my Veja sneakers but yeah I'm kind of like on the fence about the jacket I really want it to work but if it doesn't work I just I can't really force it but I'll try it with some other things I actually think it might have just been that super white linen top that was throwing it off because I just put on this top that I have instead from Cezanne it's like the textured kind of cotton long sleeve one and I feel like it looks better. I think a big part of this is that the neckline needs to be like unobscured pretty much. So I think the collar on that one was throwing it off but with just like a plain neckline it looks a lot more seamless. Okay and then last thing here is from Nordstrom and this is a little dress to wear on my wedding day, the morning of my wedding, when we are getting ready. I already have a robe that I think I might be wearing, otherwise not, but I'm glad that this dress came in when the robe actually came in like middle of the work week this week. So I'm gonna need to compare the whites together, make sure that they look good together, and, and then if not, I'll send one or the other back. But, so this is really cute. I've actually have been looking at this online for a while. They did have this for sale on the Anthropology website. However, it was back ordered, but on Nordstrom, it was in stock. I love when they send things with a hanger, although that's not so great for the plastic, but it feels like a nice, fun experience. So anyways, yeah, it looks like this. It's just like a lace, very pretty, very, very pretty, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, detail at the top. It's clearly a little bit see-through, so 
um, I'll just, you know, make sure that I'm appropriately covered up. Um, but yeah, it's, the brand is Raya Collection, R-Y-A. I got it in the medium, which is my normal size for dresses. The color is ivory. So yeah, and then for reference, for reference, this is the color of the robe that I got. This is from Lily Silk, actually, which you guys know I have done sponsored, um, like a sponsored ad on this channel before for Lily Silk, where they obviously sent me the clothes, but I actually am a f fan of Lily Silk just myself, and I bought this with my own money, not an ad, um, because I really do truly believe in their products, and um, yeah, they are actually like a really nice quality real silk. So yeah, obviously I want real silk quality for my wedding day. So yeah, this is the robe, and then this is the the dress. I obviously know that this robe is nice. I just want to make sure that it goes together with the dress that I want to wear. And then I will go ahead and find the slippers. But if this all works out, it would be really cute to wear in the bridal suite the morning that we're getting ready for the wedding. My mom's going to be there and my future mother-in-law, um, Lyle's stepmom, also kind of future mother-in-law, like two mother-in-laws. Um, and then of course all the bridesmaid made them on our like it's just gonna be a beautiful morning so um you know want to wear cute stuff all the bridesmaids have these like pink silk robes that i got them and then the moms are also wearing some like pink silk robes as well there's a slightly different shade of pink but yeah it's gonna be a fun little girls morning they're de they're supposed to be delivering breakfast and lunch there obviously we're gonna have the makeup artists and then at some point, like, the photographers and videographers and everyone will come in. Um, but it's, like, a really huge room bridal suite. As you can tell, I've been dreaming about this day my whole life. So anyways, let's try on some pieces. Here is that chemise? Chemise? I don't know. It's probably a French name. On. This actually is really cute. So I am wearing a um, strapless bra, so you can't see anything. Uh, the only thing that sucks is that you can, the back is sheer, so you can see it across the back. So in which case, the day of, I might just probably put on like sticky boobs just so that it's on the front. I just don't want to waste the sticky right now. Um, but I think it would look just the same. Um, but yeah, this is actually really cute. I'm pleasantly surprised. I don't know why I had such low expectations, probably because I've ordered a couple of these and returned them already. But I actually like this and I think I'm gonna keep this. Let's see, where's the robe? <sighs> Let's see how it wears with the Lily Silk robe. Again, this does need to be steamed. It's been folded, obviously, when it was sent. So this is like a kimono kind of looking style with the sleeves. And it's not too long of a length. This would be so nice if this actually works because then I would be done and I can stop searching for these online and shopping for them. I uh, I don't know about you guys, but I think it looks good. I'm like, looking at the colors, they're almost exact. And um, yeah, I like that you can kind of see the lace sort of peeking through the top like that. And yeah, I think with a good steam, it'll look, it'll look much nicer, obviously. And it's a little bit staticky clinging to my body right now, but you, you know, the concept is there. And then <laughs> these are the slippers that my maid of honor slash bridesmaids got for me for my bachelorette party i have just been wearing them since then since then i'm debating if i should just bring these on the day of the wedding and wear them in the morning or if i should buy different ones i'm not sure where they got them from but yeah if you can find just like bridal slippers anywhere i think i'm good with this okay well i will leave all of these linked of course and i think that's everything so yeah that's a little try on and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to my workout class and eat some breakfast. workouts. I did two workouts actually. Very proud of myself. I did one 
that was a heated Pilates, so more of like the muscle toning. And then I did a cardio, I did a dance class for more of like the cardio side. Now I've just come out, I'm trying to, I need to hit up two places. I need to go to Saison and I need to go to a hat store because I'm in the market for some hats for like a sun hat for the Maldives and then like a safari hat. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I've been gone, but I haven't done much feel. It's pretty clear to me. Kind of strange, I can take a beat. From my better stuff, it's like no one else even really scratches the surface. Cause nobody gets, nobody gets, nobody gets me. I'm looking for faith, looking for love in every direction. Looking for someone to show me the way when my map is torn up. Give me a light when my torch is blown out. Let me escape from my hideaway. I give up all of my little addiction, but I'm still stuck with some tough decisions. Yeah, now I'm up against the wall. places roommate oyster bar they have like a oyster happy hour so we're gonna see if we can get a table we don't have a reservation um yeah. nobody gets nobody gets nobody gets i'm looking for faith looking for love in every direction i'm looking for someone to show me the way it is Sunday morning now. I have no makeup on, so excuse my bare face. But I uh, just took a workout class, and uh, that uh, location has a juice gen in it. So I got this peanut butter smoothie, and it's really good. The class I took was Pilates, and I really love that class because it's very slow, but it's really intense on the muscles. So <laughs> hopefully I don't reverse everything I just did with the smoothie, but. But you know, I needed breakfast at some point, so that's that. Home now, plans are today. I am going to a Yankees game with Lyle. Lyle is a big baseball fan. Um, I obviously grew up in New England, so I grew up with more of like technically a Red Sox fan, although I don't follow any sports at all. As you guys probably know, I'm not a sports girly in any sense of the word. Um, yeah, but you know, Lyle wants to go and so, you know, I'm here to go with him. We'll make it fun and, and it'll be a nice day. Um, Lyle actually surprised me with this pink hat. So <laughs> I'm excited to wear this. I didn't have anything, you know, Yankees obviously. But yeah, I'm excited that it's pink. So I just did my hair in a little ponytail. So I'm just gonna put this on. Um, after I'm kind of thinking like with my hair being as my hair is, I uh, actually should get into hats more because <laughs> my hair is so thin and fine. And going to the hat store yesterday, I really realized like how many varieties of hats there are out there and how many different types and styles and the history of hats. It's actually really fascinating. So maybe I'll start getting more into hats. But it is pretty cold out today, so I am wearing a thermal layer. I'm about to put another, to put a sweater on top of this. I'm wearing jeans <laughs> my saison jeans these are the brute sexy jeans i'll just show you real quick yeah i own these in three different colors i love them but yeah these are just like the classic denim color but they're really just like a normal kind of straight sort of cropped leg they're a darker shade of denim and um they fit really comfortably so uh yeah perfect kind of thing this is just an intimacy me thermal top that I'm just going to throw a sweater on over. I just now opened from the mail this pair of pants from Quince. These are actually really affordable. These I think were maybe $39, 
for a pair of like real le linen drawstring pants. These are for the safari. So yeah, these are really nice actually. I had been waiting for these to come back in stock forever. I had my email on the waitlist to get notified and as soon as they came back i placed the order i've had them on my mood board forever for the safari they're i hope a good shade tone for a safari pants so rather than wearing shorts i should be a bit warmer and they should go with uh some of the tops that i got this by the way is my pile of honeymoon clothing stuff so um these are the two skims tops that i bought and i was thinking that i would probably say like you know wear it with this and then have maybe like this over it the the jacket from yesterday we'll see i gotta pair stuff together and try it on but these are the kind of tones that i'm like going for okay so before we go to the game i thought that i would also just show you guys how i am planning these outfits for the honeymoon because the way that i've organized this has actually been a really good way to keep track of everything and to get organized and whether you're planning a honeymoon or some other vacation maybe you have something coming up this summer a weekend trip or maybe just like an event whatever it is it's really helpful to just lay everything out like that like this so i'm just sharing my screen with you and this is canva so i use this for like all of my YouTube thumbnails and some like Instagram stories where I'm posted the videos going live. Um, but basically you can see I have multiple pages here and I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so that you can see it better. But essentially this is the first day. So this is the travel day. So these are those silk pants I tried on yesterday that I showed you guys and then the cardigan that I'm waiting for in the mail. Um, and then just putting like the sneakers I was wearing so that I can kind of see how everything looks good together, if it flows, especially when things are coming in and they're ordering. And when I'm packing, I can look back at this too and say like, oh, this is what I need to pack. Um, bags wise, I actually am still debating. I have these two up here to just kind of see what looks best. But this is the second day, so I showed you guys this dress a couple of vlogs ago. I don't remember which vlog. But this is that long sleeve white dress that I got. This is the bag I found on Poshmark, the Amazon earrings, and then these flats like that I've had for a long time from Hermes. Um, well, a long time. I've had them for like a year, um, but they're great for any like summer holiday like vacation. So I can kind of see, and then I will like download this when I'm actually on the trip, so that each day I can just like flip through the pages and see what I need. This is that Maj dress that I also showed in the vlog. These are a pair of Reformation shoes that I have already in my closet. So you can kind of like, if something is current, you can just find it on the website, and then you upload it to your uploads you do edit photo and then you can see right here it has bg remover which means it's the background remover so that just like cuts it out so that it's easier for you to see with everything earrings that i'm thinking of and then what i still need obviously the earrings and then i'm just going to choose which bag i already own that i want to pair with this is like a dress that i'm considering i also have them all saved in a folder by name in case i want to go back to the website and like find it i like this i'm not 100 percent sure though we'll see i just want something that's flowy and colorful so this is that maldives bathing suit i just got this cover up i own this bag the shoes again so then i can also see like i can just copy and paste something like shoes into different pages that way i can see you know the things I'm already planning to pack, where else can I uh, style them? What else can I style them with? That way I'm packing as minimal as possible. So it also saves you on um, packing. I'm thinking about getting this hat. I'm looking for an alternative for it on Poshmark. Um, but this is from Eric Javits. What do I have? Oh, this is very similar, but this is just with a different bathing suit and then the sunglasses and then some teaks flip-flops that I have. I did try everything on like with the cover-ups and stuff. I actually need to switch out this cover-up because of these rosette details. It just doesn't look good with this more fitted cover-up, but I have a looser cover-up I'm going to wear instead, so I will update that. These are those cargo pants I got last weekend, that skims top. I'm thinking about maybe this vest. This is exactly what I just showed you. So these are those quince pants that I just, literally just showed you that are right here next to me. 
um, the shoes again. So like, you know, packing minimally the top and then, you know, just making sure that I'm bundled up with that jacket. I ordered this. I can't wait for it to come in the mail. This is all exciting things to show you. This is all, I also ordered this dress waiting for it. So like you can put at the top like what you want to wear it for, like the wine tour day. And then because I might be a little bit chilly because it is going to be fall, I copied and pasted that cardigan from the travel day. So maybe I can just throw that over my shoulders, sorts of things. These are all, I haven't even shown you guys this stuff yet. This is the dress I showed you yesterday. Um, I'm thinking maybe this dress for like an evening. It, I think it might be sold out in my size though, so I'm still looking for options. This was what I tried on yesterday, but we switched out the, the top, so I'll just switch that. And then, yeah, that's it. That's kind of just how it works. I've seen some people make them look really nice with like cool backgrounds and like fonts and stuff. This is my first go around at this, so this works for me, but I'm sure that I'll fine tune it even more in the future. But I just thought that I would show you guys because it's actually like, I heard of my friends doing this. Like I have a friend who's done it and I was like, wow, that's a lot of work. And that just seems like an un unnecessary amount of steps to go through, but actually, when you have a vacation coming up where you're going on multiple things, it works better out. It works out better in the long run for you. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd share how I organize. And Canva is actually free. I I pay for it because there's some extra features that I use for like YouTube and just like blog related purposes where you can like do like cool like things. Um, but yeah, so you can just do this. They also have an app. This is not an ad or anything. I just wanted to tell you guys because I found this really helpful. Um, so yeah, that's it. It's 12 o'clock. I gotta go. We gotta go to the game. And so I'll catch up with you guys later. and the game was really good it actually I thought I was gonna be freezing cold but I ended up taking my jacket off for a lot of the game and I just had my sweater with my uh, thermal underneath and I was warm enough it was like directly in the Sun and it wasn't windy or anything and I was really thankful for having the hat to shade my eyes <laughs> from the Sun um, and yeah it was just a nice day with Lyle American baseball game um, but anyways we took the train back the D train goes all the way there and all the way back so we took the D train back and it's just kind of like the end of the weekend now sort of um, because uh, yeah there really isn't much left going on I did come back to a package from Amazon I got a binder and some like clear plastic sheet protectors this is a wedding thing that I ordered because <laughs> we don't have a wedding planner. I am the wedding planner basically. And so I just needed a way to keep track on the day of. And I think it's just something about like growing up before, well, there was definitely computers, but <laughs> it, uh, we still used to like write our papers for school and submit them like handwritten. And I used to love my like, real agendas and everything and just like getting kind of crafty with things so i uh i don't know just visually and like mentally organization wise i like having a physical copy um maybe that ages me a little bit but it's just a fun thing and so i really just kind of wanted to once things start getting finalized like seating chart just like notes that i need to know for the ceremony just like oh timeline of the day lists of things i just want to print it all out since i have the printer and just put it in here so um yeah it's just like a plain it's a small one like tiny little rings like not a big binder or anything because i'm not gonna have a ton of pages but i just found that this would be easier on myself and then these are the sleeve clear inserts and i'm just trying this out here to make sure that it fits and yeah so that's the top 
and then do to do to do, do, do. perfect <laughs> so i can just print things out put them in here and then on the day of the wedding i can just flip through and you know see what i need to remember next order of business is grocery shopping for the work week I have stopped going to the grocery store on Sundays for a while because it's just so busy. Everything is picked through and you just have to wait in much longer lines. I've been going instead on either like a Monday or Tuesday morning before work and I have to tell you it is elite, <laughs> elite grocery shopping hour because no one is there, everyone's going to work and everything is fully stocked. So you don't have to wait in lines, you go right through, it's less crowded, but I, uh, I don't know, I just want to head into the week prepared rather than waking up tomorrow morning and not having anything to eat for breakfast. So I'm going to make a list and figure out what I need. <laughs> also every time I make a grocery list, I also use it as an opportunity to clear out my fridge of anything from the previous week that has gone bad. I buy a lot of produce, so that happens frequently, like this lettuce. Yeah, like this kale has gone yellow. <sighs> so I'm going to need salad lettuce. vlog now i am sitting on the pink couch the weekend is unfortunately over i have to go to work tomorrow but i really hope that you guys enjoyed spending the weekend with me and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully i will see you guys next time okay